Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you everybody? Are you okay? I hope everybody will be fine. If you didn't comment on my channel from start to now, so today you must comment and tell me why you are watching this channel, why you are watching me, what's the reason behind this? Have you learned something from me or not? So today you must comment and I will answer uh, all of those people, those students which comments in this video right so you must comments what's the reason why you are watching me have you learned something or not and tell me uh, the new idea of teaching uh, uh, teaching like this okay or uh, just give me a new idea yes okay today topic is the very interesting in civil engineering that is grade of concrete what is grade of concrete so uh, everybody know that uh, non-civil engineering people they don't know grade of concrete if you uh, come to uh, civil engineering students which completed uh, diploma uh, three-year diploma they are working on construction sites so also they don't know grade of concrete what is grade of concrete what is its uh, uh, max ratio so this is the topic for today let's start if the video is helpful for you so like the video so guys grade of concrete so concrete grade concrete grades okay and other side max ratio so first here we have a question that is we have different grades of concrete uh, for example m5 the second one is m7.5 third one is m10 the fourth one is m15 the fifth one is m20 the sixth one is m25 uh, and M30 etc so here is a question what is M what is M M stand for max okay and what is number for example the number is 15 or 7.5 10 20 25 anyone okay so what is number so number is strength the characteristic strength of concrete after 28 days so this is the compressive strength of concrete compressive strength of concrete in newton per mm square after 28 days because we test the concrete and compression machine in uh, 7 days, uh, uh, 14 days, 21 days and the last one is 28 days. Because concrete get the full strength or 99% strength after 28 days. So this is the compressive strength of concrete in Newton per mm square after 28 days. And so for different grade of concrete we have different compressive strength. For example, M5 means when we make the M5, the M5 ratio is first of all that is a one five ten guys so one is cement five is sand fine sand and uh, fine aggregate and the th uh, ten is coarse aggregate okay so this is uh, cement this is sand this is aggregate okay now when we make a concrete from this ratio that is called m5 grade concrete it means this concrete will give you the strength five newton per mm square after 28 days okay now the second one is 7.5 7.5 ratio is 1 4 8 and m10 ratio is 1 3 6 and m15 is 1 4 sorry 1 2 4 and m20 is 1 1.5 and 3 okay and m25 is 1 1 2 now guys we have m30 okay so from uh, after 25 we have that is uh, design mix it's depend on the design mix in design mix we have guys uh, m m30 m35 and m uh, m40 m45 m50 m55 
etc so we should design okay it's depend on the design mix okay but uh, these uh, you can see from m20 uh, from m5 to m25 these are the ratio so now guys there is a question m20 grade of concrete should be used for column beam and slab it can give you a good strength use minimum m20 grade concrete for beam column and slab which ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 but unfortunately in india also in pakistan they are using in one bag of cement three wheelbarrow full three wheelbarrow and there two are sent and one is crushed so guys it's wrong you cannot get a full strength what are you doing so from this ratio from one bag cement okay so i saw them and one bag cement okay in one bag cement they use three wheelbarrow they use three wheel barrow so guys this is wrong this is this is wrong you should not do this so what is this ratio and three wheelbarrow so one bag of cement 50 kg and three wheelbarrow from where you can get and they're they're doing this is one two four no it's impossible and three uh, three wheelbarrows one is uh, two is sent and one is crushed so how it's wrong so you should do it by batching or by volume by kg you should by balance you can do it or make a box one box cement okay two box if you want to do this one two four two box sent and four box aggregate or crush or m20 one bag uh, one box or and cement bag one cement bag 1.5 cent and three crush or aggregate okay so this is wrong formula so you should not apply this for the building construction you will face more problems you cannot get a full strength so just your uh, lost your money okay now guys come to concrete mix and slump range and millimeter if you don't know so you should uh, learn these so for column and retaining walls the slum test range is the slum range is 75 to 150 mm okay and for beam and slab before starting uh, concrete work in beam and slab if you want to check at slum test okay to check workability of concrete okay so there uh, for uh, uh, this is not <laughs> this is uh, 50 to 100 mm for beam and slab right and for deck of bridge deck of bridge means slab of bridge the slum range is 30 to 75 millimeters and for vibrated concrete if you are using an, any structure vibrating concrete the slum should be 12 to uh, the slum uh, range should be uh, 12 to 25 millimeters so guys these are very important for you to know about grade of concrete but use minimum m20 grade of concrete for beam column and slab to get full strength and to save your structure for house construction or anything so guys this is the important topic which i have discussed the front of you if you have any questions so you can comment i will try to reply your answer but never forget to comment why you are watching this channel have you learned something or not and give me an idea if you have a best idea of related and with this channel thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye